Hi, it's Janie, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you part two of my Las Vegas Hollapalooza. Um, my husband and I did travel to Vegas for the week of 4th of July um, to celebrate 4th of July and also to celebrate our 30 year wedding anniversary. So while he was playing in his um, poker tournaments, I did a lot of shopping. And I think what I will do is start with the products that I purchased at the Fashion Show Mall. The Fashion Show Mall in Las Vegas is one of those types of malls that has bukus of different stores, it's different levels, it's big. I spent, I spent all day there <laughs> just taking my time going through different stores that we don't have access um, to here in Oklahoma like Neiman Marcus, Saks, Nordstrom, um, Alex and Ani, um, Sugarfina, um, Tory Burch, gosh, what else was there? Um, Henry Bendel, you know, those type stores that we just don't, we just don't have here in Oklahoma. So anyway, um, I will get started because I have a few things, not a whole lot. Um, there won't be any fashion in this video. I did mention that in my um, Where Have I Been video. If you want to see the fashion portion of what I purchased in Vegas, then I could do that. Um, one of them, I did get this top in Vegas. I just thought this was so cool. It was at the loft at the outlet mall, and it just reminded me so much of the 70s, like Brady Bunch. <laughs> so I had to have it, and it's really cute on the bottom. It's got these little, um, these little balls going around the bottom of it. Let me fix my hair. Anyway, so um, I guess I'll... Go ahead and quit talking and start showing the goods. So, of course, I went into um, Sugarfina, and I have never been in a Sugarfina because we don't have that around here. You would have to order online. Um, if you're not familiar with what Sugarfina is, it is a, a candy store. Um, it's candies that are made in Germany, and they're very well known, especially for their candies that are enriched or enhanced with various alcohols in them. Um, I only got one little thing and I have ate them. I did some testing. They had a little testing table where you could try different ones and I just wasn't that impressed. I know there's a lot of people that talk about the Sugarfina and how well and how good it is and it's such good quality candy, but I just, I don't know. Um, so I did end up getting the Peach Bellini and it's a little cube like this, and a cube like this is, I think it was $7, yes. And this was one of the ones that did not have any alcohol in it, so it didn't have any um, alcohol in it, but it was just a little peach gummy. It was a little heart-shaped. Of course, I've ate them all. They were good. Um, I love peach gummies, um, probably one of my favorite candies, but um, I don't think it was, you know, better than any that I would find here at at Walmart, you know, for a couple dollars. So it was a nice little treat. Um, I did sign up for their uh, rewards program. It was free. And because I did that, I got a little taster pack. And what I picked was um, some little chocolates. They were molten milk balls, had like five of them in there. They didn't taste any different than the molten milk balls that you buy at Walmart that are in the, the jug that looks like a milk jug. So, but it was, it was fun to go in there and to see it and, you know, to taste some of the different ones and to see what it was all about. But, um, am I going to go online and order a bunch of sugar fina candy? No, no. Anyway, and they had some weird ones. They had some that were like, looked like little olives and I don't know. It was kind of odd. Then I went into Dillard's. Um, we do have Dillard's here, but, um, I only bought one thing in there. Their Dillard's is a little bit different than the Dillard's that's around here. As far as their fashion goes, their fashion is more, more, um, oh, how do I want to say it? Um, well, for one, it's, it's higher designer, so there's definitely a higher price tag. Um, it's more edgy. That's what I was trying to come up with. It's more edgy clothing, and it's more geared toward juniors and the younger crowd. So um, definitely if you're in Vegas and you're needing a 
go out to the club outfit, you could probably go to this Dillard's at the Fashion Show Mall and find you something. But um, down in the accessories department, I um, was looking at handbags and things. Didn't see anything that I just couldn't live without. I was trying to really pace myself because I knew I was going to the Louis Vuitton store and I didn't want to, you know, spend my whole budget on things that I didn't really need. But anyway, I found on the clearance section and they were doing additional 30% off clearance, this cute little bag charm. It looks like a, a robot. Um, it is a female. She has little pink legs and it looks like she has like little um, fringed boots on and her little eyes are stars. And then her body is just a gold plating metal <laughs> I don't know I just thought this was really cute and it's by um, Kate Laundry Landry and I forgot how much this was it was like $12 it wasn't very expensive at all but I just thought that was so cute and I have a black um, Louis Vuitton uh, Petite Noé that I'm going to put that on and I just thought it was so cute. So I got that from Dillard's and then I went to the Savorsky store. I knew I wanted to look for and possibly purchase some hoops. Um, I was needing some new nice hoops that aren't too heavy, not too big. Anyway, I had went the evening before that to the um, outlet mall and to the Savorsky store there and they did not want to help me. I hate that when that happens. I'm like, couldn't, anyway. So I ended up not buying anything in that store, but I did buy some stuff at the one at the Fashion Show Mall. The girl was super, super nice, um, very helpful. The manager there was very helpful and just very nice. So I ended up buying not one pair of earrings, but two pair of earrings from the Savarsky, and they were on sale. Um, the first pair that I have, um, let me put my glasses on. I actually have, no, 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 I don't have these on. <laughs> I start to say I have them on. I have the other pair on. Let me talk about the ones that I have on first, which is the um, Letitia P.E. Cry dash rose rose gold they are in a rose gold they were on sale the item number is five four two zero two four nine and i just really liked them because they reminded me of the um floret or the floret that is on the louis vuitton um, monogram and there was some louis vuitton earrings that were similar to this that just came out for the fall collection but i just couldn't see spending that much money on those. So I did get these. I hope you can see them. I don't know if you're going to be able to or not. Let's see. But they are just so cute. And they're rose gold with um, the crystal, the Savorsky crystal in the petals right there. And they just look really cute on. I had them on in another video, I do believe. So I've been wearing them a lot. I just really like them. So I got those. And then I did get the... Um, the hoop earrings that I was um, looking for and I got them in the sterling silver and they have the silver crystals all the way around here and they have them on the um, inside in the back so when you have them on um, you can tell you can see a lot of um, crystals let's see if I can get these on and show you what they look like on because I can't remember if I recorded a video with these on or not. Let's see if I can get it hooked. There we go. So that's what that looks like. See, it's just really, really pretty. Not too big, not too round, and just really pretty. I mean, big enough that when I have them on with my hair, you can see them. And these are the, um, the Somerset PE Hoop medium crystal with rhinestone, I guess is what that is. Medium crystal slash RHS. That might be, that might mean rhodium possibly. I don't think they're sterling silver. But anyway, and um, the presentation of the box was just really pretty. They boxed them up. Um, they gave me new ones that weren't um, on display. So, and they let me look at them to make sure they were okay. They came in a really nice bag. 
and they also have a one-year warranty on them. And we do have a Swarovski store uh, in Tulsa, so if something happens to them, then I'll be able to exchange them. The next stop that I made at the Fashion Show Mall was from Alex and Ani. Um, we don't have Alex and Ani here in Oklahoma, and they were doing a sale, and there was so many people in there, and they were serving um, lemonade and um, lemon cookies. I guess they have some kind of a um, charity foundation called the Lemonade Stand, and part of your the proceeds of what they were selling was going to that foundation. But anyway, um, came in a little box like this. And there was a lot of cute different ones. And I thought about getting one for my daughter, but I just didn't know if she would wear it or not. So I didn't. So I ended up just getting one for myself. I know. It's kind of, that was very selfish. But it's um, called Pardon My Frenchie. And um, it has a little in the silver tone and it has a cute little French bulldog charm on there. I just thought that was so cute with the colors, the pink and just the little Frenchy. It has a couple other little charms that hang here that I think are um, consistent with the Alex and Ani charms. I think that's on all of those. I'm not really for sure. Because like I said, I'm not very familiar with it. The only reason why I even knew what it was is I've heard other people on YouTube talk about this brand. And it's just a little um, bracelet that to open it, it just kind of slides like that to open to put it on. Let me see if I can get it on. I didn't even try it on. Oh, there we go. There. And it looks like that there. Still has the tag on it. I haven't worn it yet. But I just thought that was so cute with the little Frenchie Bulldog. Um, I don't know. I've always liked the little Frenchies. I always would like to have had one. But they're so expensive. And I just can't see spending that much money on a dog. So, anyway. So I did put that from Alex and Ani. And that was... That was normally 38, it was on sale for 26. So a little pricey for being just, you know, costume jewelry. And the next thing that I have from the Fashion Show Mall was this little item in here from Tori Birch. And I went in there specifically to look at one of their bangles, um, cause their bangles are kind of similar to the Hermes bangles. And of course the Hermes bangles are like, six or seven hundred dollars the Tory Burch one was around 200 but I just I didn't like the gold on it it was too too of a bright gold and it just it didn't look right I didn't like it and I didn't like the way that looked on my wrist but while I was in there looking I came across something else that I liked and it was on clearance and she put it in a cute little dust bag like this. And their little dust bags um, have the little Tory Burch emblem right there. Mine still has that little plastic on there. But anyway, I got it in this little dust bag. And it is a, another little bag charm, but this is in the Dash Hound, the little Dashie. Um, at one time, if you don't know this about me, I used to have four weenie dogs. I am down to one and I just love them and I seen this and I thought that was so cute and it's got its little collar has the little Tory Burch charm on it also. So I thought that was a cute little bag charm and yeah got that one and then I she also gave me um, a gift card it's $50 it's like a it's like Miss Morton. It's not really a gift card. It's more like a coupon code for fifty dollars off the new collection. And I'm not really for sure what all this is, but anyway, I have fifty dollars off of something that I can use online. So that was what I got at the Tory Burch store. And then the last thing that I got at the Fashion Show Mall, um, with the exception of the Louis Vuitton, that's going to be in a separate video all to its own, um, was from the Henry Bindle store. 
and I went in and they were having a big sale and I had looked online and there was a lot of things that I was interested in but once I seen them in person I didn't I didn't care for them so I ended up only purchasing one thing I actually had three things that I took up to the checkout but of course the other two things that I picked weren't on the 50% off sale they were only 10% off and I didn't think that the price on them was was worth what they were going to be so I opted not to get them one was um, a set of stack ear, uh, stack rings and the other one what was the other one was it a necklace I think it was a necklace anyway so I ended up getting this thing and with the Henry Bindle they all come in the little Henry Bindle dust bag which is the chocolate brown stripe and white stripe and it is this right here which is a bangle let me see what is this called I'll have to look anyway I have a, a silver one silver plated one that I bought last year when I went to Vegas and I really really did like it and it has the little flowers on it again that reminds me of the the floret that is on the um, Louis Vuitton monogram and this one is in a brushed rose gold setting and then the the little flowers are in silver and let me see if I can tell you what this is called get my glasses um, it's the Miss Bindle petal uh, metal um, bangle the Miss Bindle petal is there a color on here no and it was regular 128 and then with the half off or 60% off it was uh, 5120 so that's what I ended up paying for that and it has a little latch right here that pushes and put it on it's real easy to put on and take off and it looks like that there and you may have seen my silver one that I've worn in videos before of this one so I did get that from Henry Bindle now we'll move on over to the outlet mall that they have in Vegas they actually have two outlet mall in Vegas um, one is the north and one is the south I prefer the one on the north end I think they have um, more stores and a better selection of products the only downside to the one on the north end is that all of the stores are outside access so when it's 110 degrees out <laughs> it gets pretty hot because you're having to walk outside to get to all the stores where the one on the south most of the stores are on the inside so there's air conditioning but anyway I did um, purchase quite a few things but um, like I said a lot of that was clothing so I'm just going to share with you the accessory type items that I got so the first um, store that we're going to just show you is from Calvin Klein and I was looking specifically for a belt um, I wanted to get a belt that I could wear with my jeans or with my skorts because I wanted to start kind of wearing my some of my tops tucked in um, I've lost a little bit of weight and so I've lost some off my belly and so I wanted to um, start wearing some things tucked in to where it wouldn't be such a slouchy look for me um, I really like the Gucci um, GG belt that has the buckle that's the GG um, but that's like $700 I really like a Louis Vuitton belt but again that's like six seven hundred dollars and I just couldn't see spending that much money for something that I wasn't really for sure if I was going to actually wear I haven't worn a belt in years um, since I turned 40 I kind of lost my waistline and there is really no need for a belt but anyway I found this one at Calvin Klein because I was really wanting the the monogram look um, so I had looked at coach and I didn't really see anything in there that I liked I looked at Michael Kors they didn't have anything at Michael Kors I looked at Tommy Hilfiger I thought maybe they would have a a um, monogram tight belt but they didn't so I just happened to go into Calvin Klein wasn't even planning on looking for a belt in there I went in there to look for something else and lo and behold I found this belt here 
that um, is very understated. It does have the CKs all around it. It's a dark brown and then the CKs are like a light tan. And then the buckle itself is just a plain gold plated buckle. And I thought, well, this would be perfect because it being the dark brown like this, I could wear it with black and I could wear it with brown. It would be no, no, no issue. I did get it in an extra large and um, now I kind of wished I would have had and got it in a large because I do have to put it on um, the very last notch here. But I'm thinking maybe this winter when I have jeans on, I might have to go up a notch. And I could always um, put holes in it if I had to. I could always punch a hole. It's no big deal. But um, I did like this. And this was around, I think it was just around like 20 maybe $30 at the most. But there it is, the size. That's my circumference right there. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, so I did find a cute belt for a very reasonable price. And then I got in my head that I really wanted some sandals that had this type of um, monogram on them, but I couldn't find any. I guess they don't make them anymore. I know they have in the past because I remember seeing them, like a slide sandal that had that on there. But anyway, so I got that. Then I went into Tory Burch at the outlet mall and made a few purchases there. And let me show you what I found there. Of course, they were having a big sale and it was like packed in there, especially where the shoes were at. And I really wanted a pair of Tory Burch sandals, but I just can't wear a flat shoe, a flat sandal. And I know they're, they were so cute and they there's one pair that specifically looked like this one pair from Hermes. But I just knew that the, my legs, it would kill my legs. So I didn't even try them on. But I did find um, some really cute bag charms. So this one here is like a heart. No, yeah, it's a heart. It has the sun and it looks like the ocean, maybe a sunset. And then it has this parrot there. Red parrot with some yellow and some um, blue there. I thought that was really cute. And... Again, just the little bag charm. It has the little Tory Burch charm right here on there. So I got that. And then I found another bag charm that I liked. And this one I'm really debating on whether or not to give to my daughter because she would, I think she would really like this. But it's an anchor. And it is yellow on this side, and then on the other side, the back side, it's a, a blue and white stripe trim, trimmed in yellow. And then the little emblem here, the Tory Burch emblem, is a navy blue. Right there, I thought that was so cute. Okay, the next store we're going to visit is Tommy Hilfiger. And I have this big bag because I actually have some clothes in here too. But I'm just going to show you the accessories that I purchased take these out. I had also purchased my daughter some socks there at the Tommy Hilfiger store that had um, anchors on them and I've already given those to her. But I did um, find again, I think these are more, are supposed to be keychains, but I'm going to use them as bag charms. And I got this one here that has the sailboat with the blue and white and red um, coloring on there. And it does have the Tommy Hilfiger um, charm here. And I got that. I think these were like $10 is the price that that was. And I also got this one here that is just the, um, the navy blue tassel. Now this one has the T and the H for Tommy Hilfiger. I don't particularly care for those on there and it makes it really heavy. So I think I'm going to take this off and just have the tassel. I just really wanted something that was in navy blue for when I wear navy blue. Then I have a bag charm that will match. So got that. And then the final store from the Fashion Show Mall, or not the Fashion Show Mall, the outlet store, was from um, Ann Taylor. And again, this is just the accessories, not the clothing.
And I also wanted to share with you that a lot of these stores that are at the outlet mall now are starting to be online as far as the outlet. And one of them is um, Ann Taylor. So you can go to the Ann Taylor factory store. It's AnnTaylorFactory.com and um, purchase items. So um, possibly would be able to maybe find these two items from on that website but anyway um, at the checkout when I was checking out I've seen this cute little double pack of scarves and of course I'm going to use these as um, scarves to decorate my bag but I really liked this one here with the orange and the blue for this fall and it has a green like a hundred green polka dot on it let me see if I can get this untied but I just thought this would be really pretty for on the bag. And of course, you know, you could wear it as it's intended, which is a, a neck scarf. And it's just this long here. Of course, it's all wrinkled up from being tied up. But I don't know. I just thought that this part right here, right here is just what really, really caught my eye. This orange, once again, that orange and then the blue. So it was so pretty, but yes, you could definitely wear it um, tied up around the neck like so. Um, definitely support it all different ways, but I'm going to specifically got it to put on my handbags. And then th these little guys here, I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I just thought they were so cute. But it's a flamingo pin and a lemon slice um, tack pin. I thought maybe I could put these on. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is the pin here. I have a jean jacket that I have a bunch of patches ironed onto it. I bought those patches last year while we were in Vegas. And I think I'm going to add this flamingo pin to that jacket. And I might put the little lemon slice on there too, even though it's a tack pin. But I did get those. So that is it for the accessory portion of the haul. Again, like I said, if you want to know what the fashion was, um, just let me know. I'd be more than glad to do that. And then um, I'll be doing a Louis Vuitton haul at some point here pretty soon. So thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to subscribe and also to push that little bell icon so that you're notified of all future videos. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll talk to you soon.